Hello all. Uh, today we are going to see about the location update. Before that, I would just like to reiterate what we have discussed in video five, that is about IREC testing, right? In IREC testing, we have discussed about uh, the call scenarios. We discussed about call scenarios. And in this, we discussed about the template IR24 template, which is the basic template to perform the IREC testing in order to see that whether all the call scenarios that are mentioned in IR24 document are getting successfully, successfully originated and terminated in the VPMN network in the VPMN network okay so this is what uh, we had seen uh, in IR24 and after that we had seen about uh, mediation okay we discussed a little bit about mediation we discussed about uh, billing okay how the charging happens in billing how mediation segregate the cdrs what uh, what are the different nodes that are involved we just saw the example of bln uh, which is business logic node from here the segregation happens and then it comes to your billing and from here the tagging happens of the rate and then the file is generated which is further exchanged between operators okay this is on a high level uh, we had seen now one of the basic important thing uh, what we will discuss today is about the location update because whenever you try to perform the testing irrespective of what kind of template you are using whether you are performing a testing related to your IR24 document or uh, let's say IR24 document or IR32 document IR35 document IR60 IR 50 okay these are all uh, different documents uh, that are uh, given by gsma in order to perform different kind of testing if you really see this is for your gprs so if you want to test the functionality and train functionality of gprs then you will be using this ir35 document this is the basic prepared scenarios this is the complete prepared scenario what you will test in uh, uh, IREC testing by using ir60 document IR50 is again for your 4G and uh, the advanced level of testing. Okay, so these are some of the basic documents that are uh, referred to perform the IREC testing. Okay, so let us now move on to the location update. Because why we have to see the location update as the first uh, situation? Because whenever you perform the testing, uh, the first thing what we will do is to have LU updated. LU is nothing but your location update. Okay. Now, why this location update has to be done? Because whenever you do a location update, what will happen? The related parameters of your SIM profile. Okay. SIM profile means the subscriber profile gets downloaded to the visiting area and what are this kind of services you are having how much duration of uh, uh, call you can continue whether you are in postpaid or prepaid okay all those related services will be given to the <coughs> area where you are uh, going to use the network okay so for that reason the lu is very very important so let us now uh, just uh, uh, deep dive into the location update and then we will discuss further once we see the presentation on how exactly the location update happens then i will explain a little bit uh, on that so i am sharing a ppt okay on the location update now here we you will be introduced to some of the new terms okay that is your hlr msc vlr all those things now, whenever the location update happens, uh, who is doing the location update? The mobile subscriber will do the location update because as soon as you insert the SIM card in the given zone, in your handset, 
then what will happen it will search for the network and it will latch on to the proper network and it will show you the signal of that particular network before we proceed just uh, remember of the olden days where you used to uh, use the black and white phone like nokia uh, or motorola wherein you used to select the network manually once we latch on to a uh, once we switch on the mobile what you will see that the area uh, idea airtel vodafone okay other related networks in that uh, area like bsnl all those will get listed in your uh, handset and you have a feasibility to select it but with the introduction of the smartphones this is done automatically based on the preference of the network operator so mobile subscriber what he will do once as soon as the mobile is switched on okay so the signal gets exchanged this all happens via air interface the signal gets exchanged between two different network elements or within the home zone itself okay it is not necessary that only when you go from one destination to the other destination then only the location updates no the location update is a continuous activity it continuously keeps on monitoring as and when you move from one place to another place so as a first time activity what will happen the mobile subscriber will insert the sim card and automatically the lu request is sent the lu request is sent to a place where you are currently located okay that could be your home zone in a different uh, area or in a roaming zone irrespective of where you are we are going to normally see that how exactly the location update happens so here if you see this is your msc right msc is nothing but mobile switching center or we can now call it as visited location registry which is your serving plane okay now you are under this serving plane or under this area where the msc is having a particular coverage so as soon as the location update request is sent this will identify that okay now i will send the uh, uh, request to the previous msc where you were located now let's say you earlier you were present here ah, and from here you have moved to this area now as you move to this area the location update has to happen so that is the reason why this msc or the visiting uh, location registry is requesting your earlier visited location registry to send the mz of the subscriber so as soon as the mz uh, request is sent by the previous uh, vlr what will happen it will authenticate to your hlr shall I, I got this mz shall i do the location update so why it will authenticate to the low, uh, hlr hlr is home location registry it's a database it has uh, two different parts one is the static database and the other is the dynamic database in uh, hlr now static database is what the fixed information is available like the name of the subscriber the address of the subscriber okay what is the profile or whatever the basic details that we give uh, to while opening the uh, connection or while getting the connection that details will be to uh, means uh, present in your dynamic database static database is now you are moving from one point to another point right or you are opting for some of the services let's say you took a services of uh, vas that vas services will be for a limited period you took some different uh, services like ringtone and all those things so which are changing based on your requirement those are considered as dynamic and that is stored in hlr in a different dynamic uh, database okay so as soon as the update location is uh, requested by the visiting uh, serving plane to hlr the hlr will give the subscriber data now why why it will give the subscriber data it will give the subscriber data with respect to whether you are a prepaid subscriber or postpaid subscriber if you are prepaid subscriber then how much duration of the call you can talk okay if you are a postpaid subscriber then it will mention that he is a postpaid subscriber what are the services you can use either you are prepaid or postpaid what services you can use what barring services are present on your uh, uh, sim profile are there any restrictions or not all those subscriber data will be given to this visited location registry 
then as soon as it receives from the hlr then again it will send the uh, authentication to hlr stating that whatever the information you had given to me i have received it okay and as soon as it says that i have received it then hlr will say okay you received the data now you do the location update now as soon as uh, that message is given by hlr to the serving msc then it will do the location update okay and you will be able to see that the location update happened in your handset means you will be able to see some operator signaling on your handset now here you are doing a location update earlier your data was present in the previous uh, location right so as soon as your no new location is updated then the previous location has to be cancelled so it will hlr will send a cancellation request to the previous seller uh, vlr okay so that is how the location update happens so once the location is cancelled in your previous uh, uh, msc or vlr then you are completely now available in the new visited location so as uh, till you are present in this uh, zone there will be a communication between your uh, uh, network elements and as soon as you move from this msc to some other msc or some other area where the msc is different then again the entire process of location update will happen okay and this happens within a fraction of second because as soon as you switch on the mobile for the first time you don't need not to wait it happens in a fraction of second and it will uh, show you the network and once the location is updated whenever you are moving you don't know that there is a location update happening because it's a seamless connectivity that is established between the telco operators or seamless connectivity provided by the telco operators to see that there is an un uninterrupted uh, coverage given so that is the reason why everything happens in a air interface and it happens within a fraction of seconds hope the concept of location update is clear if you have any doubt regarding the location update please share your comments in the below video and uh, write your suggestions so that i will able to uh, do it more uh, informative okay so thank you for watching the video on the location update in our next videos we will discuss the basic call flows how exactly the call flow happens call flows means when i am making a call or when you people are making a call from one mo one point to another point that is from one handset to another handset or for one subscriber to another subscriber then how the call routing happens how the call gets established between the two mobile subscribers uh, that all we will see in the upcoming videos which we which i will name it as call flows so please do visit it because as we progress towards the advanced technology like 4g and 5g this information is very much required because there we will not discuss okay how the call flow happens or how the location update happens we will discuss in advanced level so this information will be very useful because some of the terms when we say okay this is what is happening then you all will be able to correlate okay back and this is the story that is there uh, for uh, how the location update happens or how the call uh, flows uh, get exchanged between the two different well subscribers or between two different network elements so that will be easy to correlate okay so i'll see you all in the next uh, video and uh, thank you for watching the video thank you very much